am i audible right now yes sir and i hope my screen is visible to all of you also yes yes your screen is visible okay. let's start the session uh so uh, somebody has asked started asking so what's your doubt to be repeat please sir uh, hello sir so so basically is like uh, for linear dependence and linear independence mm -hmm. so you when they give you four vectors or three vectors mm -hmm. so by taking the determinant that is if the determinant is equal to 0 we mm -hmm. call it it is linearly dependent and mm -hmm. when it is not equal to 0 we call it linearly independent yes sir is there any other method or is there any other way of finding it apart from the determinant method that yeah, is my so, first question sir yes so they uh, yeah so second thing is like uh, determinant is one thing and the second thing is like you can use the direct uh, definition itself would be fine like definition you know to checking for any see if your vector is suppose you want to check In R, you are in R three, and yes, you sir. want to check uh, two vectors. Whatever you have given is linearly independent or dependent. So how we will check that? The cofactors, right? Yeah. So cofactors when you write in the linear form, right? In the con kind of suppose you have two vectors, let's say v one and v two. Okay. Yes, sir. V one and v two. This is elements of the vector space R three, and mm -hmm. you want to check it. These two vectors are independent or dependent. So that means if you write in the matrix form and you want to check it then it will not work because it mm -hmm. is when you form the matrix they will not form a square matrix yes sir so then you have to uh, do it like then whatever the definition you have that means you have alpha time v1 plus beta time right liking these are as a co uh, parameters you can say and you want to check it you will make it equal to 0 and solve it this will form a system of linear equation yes sir it will let you know that how it will be and when you form a system of linear equation means you have anyhow you have to find the alpha and beta values if both are zero then yes, then these two vectors are independent mm -hmm. otherwise if both are non zero or any one of them is non zero then they are dependent so the okay sir one more thing sir by using gauss law so you reduce it to echelon form mm -hmm. right yes yes and uh, when is it infinite and when is it unique sir like okay how should i differentiate it sir so see the case will be like this suppose you have a system of linear equations some suppose these are three equations okay and uh, you write the coefficient matrix even the uh, augmented matrix you can say once you wrote the augmented matrix okay yes sir so you have three equations in r3 i am saying for example r3 yes, means it have three variables yes sir so the augmented matrix will be can you tell me how if you have three equations are in r3 in three variable then what is the dimension of this three augmented four. matrix it will be 3 by 4 okay yes sir so once you change in pro echelon for even reduce pro echelon for this mm -hmm. is your self i think some background i think from your itself okay so once you change this uh, augmented matrix and reduce pro echelon form then if the case is arise like this suppose you change in this form and we note with that in the last suppose the last row all are zero okay in that case the system has infinitely many solution okay so so this is similar to the determinant for homogeneous system of equation so for trivial and non trivial solutions all are zero or also one case suppose <coughs> there are so many different cases like if suppose this case is there la last one is here is zero but this row till whatever the coefficient matrix you have these all are zero but this one is not zero then in that case what it will be then it have no, no solution. solution 
okay so yeah and the cases is like these are these are non zero any one of non zero but this is zero then still the system may have unique solution or infinitely many solutions so this could be possibility but for infinitely many solution if the all are zero these all are, are zero in till the this coefficient also and when once you added the b mat that b part right side of the equation and also yes, become sir. a zero when you changing in row echelon form in reduced row echelon form even of even of, any one of them yes sir. so in that case it have infinitely many solution okay sir. thank you sir got you so this is because uh, this is because uh, we are having three variables and uh, only two uh, two equations are there that is why no? yes you can say once because the see once you change the mat the system of linear equation in the reduced row echelon form and see if you have this see we have this system and you form this system in the matrix form and then again some <coughs> did some row uh, operations okay and you change this in the uh, some row echelon form or reduced row echelon form all you can all okay. zero in a row will come only uh, when the two equations are similar yes yes that means similar. yeah it have three variable and two equations yes so that means you can back to write in the um, uh, um, equation form right because as you have changed the system this system in matrix form you did some operation and also you can back to the equations now once you back to equation you have two equations only in three variable in that yes. case you can infinite solution yeah it is not necessary also the case is also this could be possible to suppose this one is all zero but this one is non zero uh, this is because uh, the two uh, equations are same but the coefficient means yeah in that case the system has no solution also the possibility is it have no solution also so you have to be be careful with that if this is all zero whatever the case how many uh, like how many rows are there but the coefficients become zero but right side is not becoming zero when you once you are changing in the reduced row or row which learn from in that case it have no solution so can we also say that when it has like infinitely many solution we can call it linearly dependent and when it has unique solutions can we call it linearly independent so it have unique solution in the case of unique solution that means each variable have each variables are dependent actually when you change when you change in reduced row echelon form the yes, coefficient uh, uh, that that you know uh, that even augmented matrix one is once you change in reduced not even row reduced row echelon form yes sir so in that case once you see that na if a system has unique solution it's surely that it form an identity matrix yes and then that the coefficient matrix form an identity matrix this could be anything but the coefficient matrix form an identity matrix yes sir and, and in so in that case see each variable once you write here as when i was there i was talking about the last uh, friday session i think that last yes, last i was uh, taught about how to exactly find the variables are independent or dependent it is easy to write here x y and x y z kind of thing and easily you can decide that which one is going to be dependent and independent i think you can watch yes. that yes sir i was there oh yeah so easily you can verify those yes the last so, last friday uh, which one is that session i didn't get this, the, not this friday the last last okay so, so can we have the complete um, concept revision today oh uh, yeah I, I will think that okay we'll we'll surely see that also see each session now whatever on youtube so there are two videos only on youtube for each week so those are actually all are like uh, stacked so you can actually go to directly like let me show you so no need to go with the so see if you suppose you are going let me show you that uh, this friday i this is 25 so this is 23 so let me go with the 26 if you go on youtube so if you go on description you will see that everything is you can just click on you can see the tag there you can directly jump to activity or concepts so yes, click sir, this on. thing is very good sir i have so seen this uh, property of you can go in description and see that 
the last uh, friday session is also i think uh, by by today even i i will upload this so it is already tagged but need to upload on youtube so in description we just need to write so now it's everything like each session you can see by one or two days you can see it will be tagged and you can directly jump to that particular thing so these directly. things are very good for us sir yeah thank yeah. you thank you very much sir or putting i don't think so all of you know this is this happening for this at least this storm is going on like this now if you see on the reduced roach landform you just click on there so this is when i was talking about here the concept thing so you can directly see that uh, you can jump to there and you can see how all things have discussed by clicking here grammar school okay sir i just have one one doubt sir okay so uh, let me go with the now raised hand then we'll start the summary kind of thing who have like are i have uh, yeah so possibly try to raise your hand and let me see who is the first one yeah arya sinha is Uh, first one so hello arya hello sir uh, actually i have a doubt in the v dash thing like okay in the activity question also i was mm -hmm. not able to uh, attempt that question which activity in activity 3.2 3.3.3 question number 7 okay this one yes sir what is v dash no to so see here yes. the how the operations is written what is written here let v be a just a minute Uh, am I audible right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So this question says that let V be a plane parallel to the x y plane, and any plane parallel to x y plane is given by z is equal to c. So, see in this, uh, if if suppose you are in R three, suppose this is x, this is y, and this is z here. So any plane parallel to this plane. what it mean then it will be like this right suppose this distance is c you can think it as a your uh, this floor is and that corner any one of the of your room is vertically you can take that like your room corner side of the room you can think as x y z plane okay and the floor is you can think x y plane and the above line you can think as a, which is going to the uh, the the roof you can think as a even you can think the roof is a kind of right uh, at a, as a parallel to xy plane are you getting yes sir okay so if so this is this is the first line saying that any you can think which plane is parallel to xy plane you can think as a z is equal to c so you're as like usually the rooms are 10 feet away so you can see that c is 10 So similarly, any C you can train twenty, hundred, whatever you want to put as your uh, parallel plane. You can think that okay, this is going to be Z is equal to C, a plane parallel to X Y plane. Okay, we define addition. So see now the see now you can think on roof. You can think some there are some vectors. Okay, 
suppose this vectors is what you do with the vectors you can think that suppose here is okay let me tell you suppose this is the x vector y here x y z and z so z here is no here is z is c right z will be c z, z is, is exactly c so x y and c suppose is this is x1 y1 and c and another vector is here is x2 y2 and c will be this is the mean here this vector is this one this vector is this one okay yes sir is it clear now yes, the sir. operations is defined how the operations is defined uh you can project these see these planes you can put it as a xy plane because these are the parallel so you can exactly say that this point is which is you can see that this is called projection so projection of let's say this is v1 v2 so projection of v1 you can say exactly x y x1 y1 zero and projection of x2 you can see the like x2 y2 and zero because c is going you projected on the floor your roof thing you projected on the floor okay yes sir now do the operation as you want as you used to do coordinate wise so see that what is written here calculate addition as x1 plus y1 x2 plus y2 if you want to, to add two vectors so suppose you want to add two vector on the roof so what you will do first project to the plane here xy plane and then add pro coordinate wise okay so here is x2 so here is it this is going to be y1 plus y okay. add them and then back to the roof that means here is so you if you want to add to two vector that means the final thing is going to be here see and back to the flow this is the addition is performed on this vector space okay not vector space this is on the set let be a plane on this plane you can say on b uh will be a plane of which is parallel to x y y this is this will not form a vector space but you can think as how the addition is defining is it clear yes sir now the how the operation is only the addition is defined here okay now addition is defined so find the value is find the value only so v prime is exactly what is saying here uh, so here is you can see v is actually set to be v prime once you project it here no is here so here is prime is actually nothing but just saying to be a vector okay this is not anything just saying to be a vector no no no, no. v1 here is a given no, no. sorry v1 v prime v1 prime is a projection of v1 v2 is a projection of v2. here is v1 v2 so what do you mean with that so here is see this one is v1 so this once we projected this will become v1 prime and this one is going to be v2 prime this is the mean here okay yes sir got it okay so now do as the thing is saying in this question clear no yes sir this question is clear and uh, one more doubt uh, mm. that uh, for uh, calculating the inverse of a vector like uh, we do uh, v z, v to 0 equal to minus v uh, something like that uh, for any how, uh, you are saying for yeah. any vector space yeah how you will calculate so the how, inverse yeah so yeah so suppose uh, let me let me give a vector space and easily you can calculate so suppose here is uh, introduction to the vector space Uh, sir, we will be discussing concepts today or only the doubt clearing session, sir? No, it will we'll discuss the concepts also. Okay? We'll discuss the concepts. Just I'm taking quickly the doubts, then we'll uh, discuss the concept. Sir, if we will have the concept clearing first, then automatically the doubts will be cleared, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, sure. Yeah, because you already be... ran one hour, sir. Hmm. Sorry, half. Yeah, so, say, okay. Okay, let me see how many so can we do who have raised hand raised hand can we do one thing that uh, like let me finish the concept thing and then we'll take your doubt it would be good so actually i have uh, some uh, uh, general problem i have to share okay what's sir, your uh, sir i have a problem so i have didn't get the invite for discourse and i am mailing to iitm team 
and they are saying this uh, from past to one week they are saying only we will update you soon we will update you soon there is no update okay. about the schools so what's your role uh, sir what's your gmail sir uh, so i'm pasting in the chat box yeah can you paste it here The same issue is faced by me as well. Sir, Anyone? Pasted yes. my uh, Gmail. Okay. Just let me note up. Sir, uh, same kind of problem is with me also. I can open Discourse with my phone, but it is not accessible with my laptop. No, so that means you are not uh, giving the, the. You are not uh, switching your. Uh, you need to switch oh, no. your Gmail. So yes. I am uh, operating with the student's mail ID. No, and because see, your mail, uh, which is actually ID. working for uh, your mobile. So there is no issue with your, see, there is no issue with our side. It is issue with your laptop. Or... So this is in my case as well, but in my case it's reverse. It's working on laptop, but not working on mobile phone. So see, this, this problem is not from our side. It's, that means you are the possibility that you are not switching your uh, see you're not you're not switching your gmail see let me show you for example like i just when i clicked here is reflecting me to log in okay once you i will start logging here so it will ask the gmail now suppose anyone of them i like suppose i this is my personal mail id there is no my uh, this is my personal this my this is my personal this is the institute mail id once i log in it here so still see that because this mail id is not this uh, whatever this uh, invitation is not given for this even the sir sir discourse requires old email address not uh, new email address are not supported there Sorry. sir i am logging in with my new email address with my phone as well as laptop not new whatever the institute given use yeah, this that one one. yeah okay. that one only i'm using that one but uh, in laptop it is not accessible it is saying that you are not invited but in sir can we do our course sir yeah sure sure we can discuss this later on please yes sir. so see this is i think then problem is with the, the same see as i am doing here see same message i am getting Sorry, the SS issue. In my issue. case, I am I am logging in with student dot online degree dot iitm dot ac dot in. Mm -hmm. So the please change board. with the like. The see, there is yes, one yes, domain, right? It's study dot. It will work. You you all should check your email. You might have received the invitation link. Click on that link, and you will. Be yeah. Also, email. once you subscribe thing, no, there is one thing you need to subscribe also. Like subscribe means you have to whatever the invitation send or email go to there and then from there just open it okay okay uh, so let's just start the thing uh, um so before that i did not have a question from uh, the activities or anything i just wanted to know what is the real life use of linearly dependent and independent sets we will see it in the See, you will surely see in when you come to as a MLF course, machine learning course, this all, this whatever. So there is no, you are looking that there is no uh, real life example, whatever till week four, even in week four, you have uh, rank nullity, whatever the matrices thing, basis vectors. So you will see in the more things as you have it, there you will see linear transformation. Everything will be used in the MLF, machine learning foundation. There is, you know, Eigen value and eigen vector. So, okay, sir. Please mute. Uh, sir. Hmm. Yes. Hi. Uh, it is a conceptual doubt that I have. Uh, I am all. I'm facing problems. Uh, in the kind of questions that come about. Uh addition and scalar multiplication kind of problems. There is a type of problems that usually come. Sorry, uh, which type of? Sorry, which type of? Uh, 
addition and multiplication i'll give you an example if you go to 3.1 activity 3.1 okay and i think the fourth or the fifth question uh, if you go to activity 3.1 sir okay yeah you see that that that's i will going to discuss okay that will i yeah. now i am going to discuss it sir oh, okay. concepts okay. okay i'm just looking uh, in need to discuss the service space also before to discuss service space i will discuss uh, uh, vector space then we'll discuss the service space we'll quickly do last time i think all of you gone through that uh, whatever the i think uh, lavanya had taken on this friday so i think she was saying she was saying that she need to only discuss uh as i she said that i need to discuss only service based thing just now yes sir these kind of questions yes yes these kind of questions. so my suggestion is please watch first this session uh, sir i have watched it i am still not able to uh, figure it out like uh, um i tried solving the questions also in 3.1 but i'm still not able to do it sir so the thing is like once you see in that we watch it again solve the same problem you know one more time without looking the solution then come back to because once i will see the lavanya is discussed like a very brief and i i think she is a perfect in see these in also if you watch it again seal i'm sure that she is surely discussing everything in a very clear manner okay so once you watch it again then solve again and back to so today i self myself i will discuss again but my suggestion is also please watch this one okay i will definitely watch sir but please could you explain shortly today if possible once again sir because i watched it once like yeah so uh, so what is a vector space you will quickly see that so see uh, in maths one all of you uh, know the what is a set that is nothing but a well defined object okay. all of you gone through what is set so set is suppose you as you there only need to use to discuss, like sets are well defined object means you there you used to say like a uh, collection of student many more things like in real life example you used to say but let's come to an stick on the numbers okay so there see there you also see that the relations right relations is nothing but a uh, uh, you, if you have a set okay yes and uh, you used to take the cartesian product right whatever you have this cartesian product so suppose you are, you are taking the set yes in place of set i am taking the set r okay, the even whole real line and and i am doing the same as you used to do the cartesian product r cross r okay i am taking as a uh, we'll discuss r2 so suppose you are taking this cartesian product r cross r so element in this set how elements will look like pair wise so elements in this r cross will be pair wise so just suppose for example uh, i don't know how say this set have this r cross r have infinitely many element uh, sorry element so so it will be look like this okay. pair wise elements will you will see okay so this is you have what you will do so so see that so this is a set sorry this is these are the element in this set okay now what you can do so as you used to do see real lines is nothing but a set right which is a collection of number you can say any real number suppose this is 0 so 1 2 there are infinitely many numbers minus 2 minus 3. these are the numbers you have so what you used to do you can add here in real number you can add one you you took one number and you added with two okay 1 plus 2 and uh, you can multiply them on cross there is no issue can you think the same thing here see these are the number so see this is a set and this is a one element this is one element another element okay similarly think it here okay 
this is one element and this is one element okay now i am doing i am see here is the used to do as here just you know that it will be three and this is called addition and this is called multiplication you will multiply and you will get two here. suppose i am defining addition like this on the set r here the same set here on this set i am defining like this okay one plus two equal to okay i am defining a different addition see addition can be different different time so i am defining here one plus two i am taking one element and another element and defining a addition like this once i add it here it will be three okay and see all of you know the mod operation right that modulo modulo you know mod operation yes yes so suppose i am defining a relation mod here okay and uh, mod is like suppose i am doing with the two what do we mean by that mod one mod or even let's say five modulo okay five mod two what it mean that what you will get five is divisible by two one one you will get remainder here right you will get yes. remainder that means once you divide and whatever the remainder will take that means here you will right side you will get that so same thing what i am doing here i am adding here and whatever i am getting i am doing mod 2 of that so what you will get here now one right once add them 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 now the right 3 mod 2 here 2 is not this 2 t is 2 i am taking the general case here let's say i am saying 3 here okay i am saying 3 or even let's say 5 let's say 5 i am whatever the numbers here available i am adding them and dividing with the 5 and whatever the remainder you will get i am writing here so what is you will get here remainder uh, 3 mod 5 3 yeah 3 you will get you will get 3 So see that what is happening here. Let's say I am I am another number. I am giving to another number five. Okay, I am one real number and and uh, let's say I am I am denoting this plus with the this node. Okay, mod five. This addition see that see this addition is different. Now see that I wrote the addition but different. What you will get here? Can you tell me? Two. 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 Right. This is two. So see that what is happening here. See, I I I just given a addition, but see this is a different addition. Uh, it is not usual as you used to do five plus two is equal to seven. It is a different addition, right? I am saying this is apply for any real number. So suppose I am changing with here, not R, because once you take irrational number, it will be difficult. So let me change with the uh, integers. Okay, let me change with the integers. that will be good because once you will take the irrational number then it will be very difficult what will be the remainder because as we used to do remainder only work on the you can say natural or integers okay so i am saying change it with the integer now see that what is i am doing the operation here see this is a different from the usual addition okay on the same integer you can say integer is subset of r you know right so same thing what is happening here So just take two R cross two six R cross R. The elements will be pairwise, right? It could be any pi comma pi pi comma any different root two. So it will be the it will contain the real number in pairwise. This is one. now I am defining a addition here. Okay, I am defining an addition here. How addition is defined? So let's say one. This is one element, and this is another element. Okay. I am defining addition as here pairwise. Sorry, coordinate wise. As you know, in R R cross R, you know, in coordinate system. Sorry, in coordinate system, you can say are the uh, Cartesian product. You know, this is a, a kind of Carti Cartesian product. Okay. So, just uh, what I am doing, add. the this two element in the coordinate wise so it will be 1 plus 5 and in other element you will you will get that 2 plus 3 see same element 
this is an element of r cross r right because the elements came as a pairwise feel here is it clear yes okay. so see that this oper see see uh, now i have defined here a operation sir, here sir yes. one thing uh, do we need to define the um, addition and multiplication no no i no, am not see you people not define in the question you will say directly it will be given a set okay and some operations surely it will be given okay no for general in general i am asking not question uh, for defining a vector space means for uh, writing a vector space we always uh, write uh, we always have to write the addition rule also yes so you, without see without that operation the vector space is not complete you need so to use vectors vectors cannot be added uh, as it is uh, added uh, in normal so vectors cannot be added as normal also can be added i will show you how it is okay so the and thing one, is like one thing sir here uh, uh, why we write addition as multiplication in cross in the first line itself sir v cross v uh, yeah. No, no, V cross B is saying the same. This is not plus C. This is okay. Let me tell you. So, see that. See, addition, whatever on real number, whatever on real number as used to do 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, right? So, what is happening? This is one kind of function you can think, right? This is one kind of function. This is one kind of function. This function is from R to R. You are taking the numbers you are doing. See, you are taking this function plus on this two real number and you are getting seven. See, five plus two can be written as I am doing a function. You can think this is a function and on this number you are getting seven, right? So, so the same, whatever here is written, this is, is written as a function kind of. Then why the v cross v is, I am asking that, v cross v is there. Why? In, for addition, why we write V cross V? So, are you getting this one? Yes, sir. I got this. The same thing is written here. V no. cross V, since you are taking the elements here. V cross V as here R cross R. V cross V is actually R cross R. R V cross V is nothing but the elements here. This is a set. This is not a multiplication. This is a set. As here, R cross is a set. R cross R is a set here. The elements are this one. Okay, okay. Okay. okay everyone it. is getting everyone is getting this is a natural doubt actually it will uh, rise to everyone sir a follow-up question uh when we say vector addition it can be not simple addition but it can be also a function like you said like it doesn't have to be just like yes that's addition. the meaning here that's the meaning here that's how i'm saying the here the addition okay. is not a you can think addition is a kind of function is actually okay, here is okay. and function can be anything right function can be anything yes as yes. i have just given the different kind of addition yes and also for multiplication also same same rule same again, thing right? multiplication is also a function you can think it is a function and the function can be any kind of thing okay sir okay. Sir, if it's of any kind then we can replace addition as a multiplication because it yes. is also a function Yes, yes, yes. Then what will be the difference between scalar multiplication and scalar addition? No, we so the thing addition. is not. Yeah, so the thing is right. Whatever no, you way you want, you can addition, define. Scalar addition. Yes. So whatever, see, whatever you want to give the definition for addition and multiplication, give them. But it should follow. See, you are in a room, okay? Suppose you are in a room, or let's say I'm I'm giving an example that, uh, okay, uh, uh. I just said that okay, two people in a room are suppose in two people in a room or they are fighting. Okay. Okay, they are fighting. So whatever the way they, they will fight, the condition they <laughs> is that while fighting, they will not go outside the room. While fighting, or even whatever the equipment so they in that take, case, that room is the property of that. Uh, of that set yeah while adding yeah while adding whatever you want to do you should be follow you should be lying in that set okay okay i That's have another me. example for example if we have a set we mm -hmm. define a set uh, which is multiple of two that means even number set okay mm -hmm. then if we multiply or add two number then the set would also be even 
this is what uh, this yeah. is what we really yes, are yes. trying to say yes yes if you are doing addition and also doing the multiplication okay multiplication is also yes. a function whatever the multiplication mm -hmm. you are doing after doing the multiplication whatever the element you will get the like here okay whatever the like here but, whatever i just said yeah, it, you got it, this name. it should not go yes, outside of here, this here is a problem suppose here that is real number right uh. suppose we define v as a set of prime numbers okay now we add if we uh, allow vector addition or vector multiplication it will not follow if you add two prime number there is no no possibility that you will get another prime yes number. yes yes so that's why the restriction is two and needed. three Yes, yeah. so then the, the then the restriction is needed on the addition. You need to define addition like that so that it should follow in that. As okay. you are saying, as you are mm -hmm. saying, addition is any kind of function. As I am also saying, addition is any kind of function. Multiplication is any kind of function. But I want a rule. It should not go beyond of that set. It should okay. lie on that. Set. If we want to till on the vector spaces then we must have to give such kind of rule that their product and their uh, addition should also be a prime number prime number that's all yes then it will be called okay okay got it got it that's Thank the you. thing okay and that's the meaning here let me tell you what is now you i am giving a word to this following the property see this addition is follow this property then you will say the closed that word you will use closed means it is actually in that room Whatever the fight is happening between two vectors, what between two numbers, it is on the same set is happening. It is not going to outside the room. That is called closed under addition. And if you are doing the multiplication, okay, with multiplication should also follow that. Then it is called closed under multiplication. That operation. There are different different kind of uh, different different kind of med addition. Like addition is a function. Addition is a function, so you can any way you can add it, but it should follow. If it is following that, it is happening in the same room. It is happening in lying the numbers after adding. You are getting the in the same set. Then it is called closed under addition. Similarly for multiplication, closed under multiplication. That's property you are just you know, saying to me that it should be the prime number also. Okay, is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Sir, yes, can you give me any real life example of that? Yes, I would like also more examples, sir. Please, sir. Okay, sir, so for example, for example, there is a set of six feet people. All the people in the set are of six feet. So yeah. if we define addition that uh, if we add one plus one people, there will be two people. So those two people will also be will six feet. Yes, this is what you are trying. Six to feet, say. yes, six and feet. It, it not go. It once you add it, it will not become the twelve feet or eight feet. It you know it is not you are getting it. So is, basically, vector space is not a. Uh, it's not a value or element. It is basically a property. Yes. And the uh, element under that set is of the same property of that vector space. Yes. 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 So that means it does not exist. It is not a physical quantity. It can be anything. Hmm. It has no uh, uh, no relation with Cartesian plane, Cartesian space. Yes. Okay. Yes, there is no relation with yeah, actually I just started with the Cartesian product, but there is no relation with the Cartesian product is happening. Okay, but actually no, relation is there only until there are three elements. Yes, R3. yes. In R3 there is a relation, but R4, R5 uh, you cannot uh, display in Cartesian plane. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one thing. Now let me show you with an example in the vector space itself. It is given, I think so. Uh, sir, mm -hmm. sir. Yes. Just before you go there, could you just... yes, sorry, sorry. Sir, could you could you just please go back to the previous page? Yes. Uh, now, uh, yeah, okay. Let me open the page. Yes. Sir. So, so is it clear that uh, what what is the sign meaning here? Now tell yes. me the see. Yes, I just I said here the only the addition thing. No. Now the multiplication. See that multiplication is here not. P here is R, okay. Here is R. What it mean that? Okay, let let me tell you that here. So what is happening here? So what is happening here? See, I just take okay. I just took here R cross R. Okay, elements are like this, pairwise. Okay, elements are pairwise. Just a minute. And it's not 
working. So, okay, pairwise elements are there. Okay, fine. Now, see, as here, addition is, I defined like this. So, addition can be different, different type. So, this is, you can think like this. Plus is a function on R cross R, whatever you are getting on the same. See, this is R cross R. So this is R cross R is uh, basically just a representation or it is a Cartesian product like we do in relation and function. So, see that here is, uh, okay, let me, I will tell you here what it means. That's so, okay. Sorry, sorry, what you, what you said? Sir, I asked that that representation R cross R or V cross C, it is it's just a representation or it means Cartesian product. For example, if there is a set R and we no. cross do Cartesian product, then we will get one element from uh, one set and another element from another set. We write it that a new set, like we do in uh, relation and a function. No, so this is just a representation. Just okay. a representation. It has nothing to do with relation and function. Yes. There, there is no relation and function, there is nothing. But yeah, you can think that a plus is a kind of function there is that means. Okay. Thank you. I was confused because we say use similar representation in uh, relation to function as well. No, no. So here is different. Here is not, I just started, but I just started because of this pair word. Except that there is no relation with the, that whatever you studied in the, and that means there is no relation with the Cartesian product. Here is totally oh, different. Okay, okay thank you. Now, sir, uh, sir, one thing I would like to ask, sir, uh, plus is a function or it is worked like as an operator? So, yeah, so see, it is actually a function you can name as an operator. It is actually kind of doing something. No, operation is doing some, some, some work is doing. So, you can name it as an operation also. Okay. It is okay. name, you can name it as an operation. Okay. So, now let me tell you another thing is here. So, 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 Okay, just a minute. Now I am taking a set now. I am changing it now. I'm set is I am denoting with V. Okay. V is here. And set is what? Set is the uh set is you can say I am taking an exam example from example. It will be easy for me to uh tell you. Uh Sir, can you solve the one of the questions in this? Yes. Uh, the one with uh, vector spaces. So I just started with uh, this, uh, the third problem. Mm -hmm. uh, not this one. Uh, scroll up, please. Okay. Yeah, this one. I am let, let me let me finish then let me finish it let me because I am just something I am explaining so let me finish it then it will start okay okay no problem sir thank you so I am taking okay I am uh, let's say I am taking an element which is following some condition okay I am taking an element okay which will follow some condition what are the condition it will follow that you will take the elements here okay pairwise i am taking element okay what it will follow that even once you add these two you will get zero and here is x and y both belong, uh, belongs from r i am taking this thing can you tell me the elements here What are the elements? Can be possible possible elements? Minus X1, one, 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 minus one, minus two, one, minus two. One. Basically, x equals to minus y. That means any first element will be negative, or second, or second element will be negative. Yeah. Or yes. Yes. So zero zero, uh, zero zero also any number, many numbers can be. It set this set have many, uh, infinitely many elements. So see that this is a set now. Okay. What I am doing here, I am defining an operation on this set. What is the operation here? Okay, I'm defining here operation on the element here. So it it would be represented like this. This operation is here. Okay, it's look like a function v cross p. What it mean that? What it mean that you will take one element from 
this one it's saying this one and another element with the same which is let's say let's say or differently one minus one and this is one element of v right this is another element of v right and you are doing operation here this is the mean here and what you are getting here on v so what you once you add it here so what you will get here so here i'm now i'm defining operation with the different thing okay i'm i'm taking here operation let me take the operation here uh the example here is added yeah. okay so similar operation i'm taking see this is in the way so, okay. so i'm taking operation here okay what are the operation i'm adding these two first coordinate you'll get here one plus one okay what are the second operation i am adding here one minus one minus two and extra one i am doing here so in general form it how it will be like look like x1 y1 okay i am taking one element from v okay and another element the operation is here you can think X2 like this one. also you can think like this also here is x2 y2 okay the same this representation see this is a function as you know right function on the element function of fx the same representation so this f is actually i am changing with this plus sign okay and the same element wise what you are getting here i am doing operation x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 plus one extra thing okay so it can be this can be represented like this also Sir, uh, sir, why you have added plus one there? So here is okay. So here is this real addition. This is real addition on real number as you used to. Okay, so it will be. It is suppose you are okay. It is a kind of confusion. So let me change with the prime here. Okay, it is a prime, and this this addition is real addition, real number addition. Okay, this this also addition is real number. Is it clear now? Okay, this plus is different, but see, these are this is a real number, right? As here, this I said, these are the real number. These are the real number. So, what are the operation? Once you coordinate while doing addition, so real addition you are doing. As here, you as did right this addition. This is two, and this is minus three minus one. The same thing is here. This is real addition. This operation is x. Plus, sorry, sorry. Plus prime. I changed. See, any notation, any notation get could be any notation. I can be any notation here. See, this saying different. This is not the same plus. Okay, a prime. I just know this is a different notation. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Clear. And once I am doing, see, this is the different addition. Once I see this addition is on the element of v cross element of v. This addition is see see I just now I started said I can define any way as here I can define the mod form similarly I defined an uh, addition on this set v on this set v so how it is defining here see that like this I added so why am I adding defining here I am adding here these two vector so coordinate wise I am adding them so when I am once I am adding coordinate wise. So coordinate wise, these are the real number, right? So real number, real number as addition is there. I'm same addition I'm using. So here is not x1 plus n. Here is x, and here is y1 plus y2 plus one. The same, like you can think x, sorry, plus prime as a function or here itself. Okay, this these are the same. These are the same. I'm just saying. Why you ask? This is look like a function. So this is a kind of function I am saying. Is it clear now? Now tell yes. me. Yes. That that same number I am saying the prime number as you said it should be closed. I just now use the closed word, right? Is this addition is closed? My question is whatever no. you are adding is this addition is closed? No. Yes, sir. It is closed. But we will not get prime every time, no. Okay, no, no. Then it is not closed. 
no no so here how you will check is this addition is closed or not my yes. question is x plus y equals y prime numbers ah huh? we can take two prime numbers for x1 y1 and then another another prime for x2 y2 uh, and so there is no, here is not this is not a prime na no? i am not talking now, now i am not talking about the prime here oh, should be okay, okay. close means okay, what okay, okay. it is in r2 so yeah, if, see, it's if we take right. two vector so if we take two vector from v and perform addition operation and we get the element uh, another vector in v also then this is closed under addition yeah you are getting sir yeah sir yes. it is defined like this so it is closed under addition right because the addition is defined like this addition is defined like this but see uh, closeness closeness means what whatever okay, okay. you are adding so after adding it should be in v in it should be in v right this is so the so closeness so so the v is the complete real line correct no v is not complete real line so what is it is defined it this is defined is as x plus y is equal oh, to 0 x right x plus so? y equal to 0 okay, okay yes now tell me the ah. reason is this no, no, closed no, no then no, it is no. not no it will not close totally. this is not closed because no. see that i took an example right this is a once i added them once see once i added them i got this number now add them are you getting zero no coordinate is no right no, so this operation is not closed this is the mean of closeness everyone is clear yes sir it means by this operation the point that we will get will not fall on that line x plus y equals to zero Right. Yes, this is yes, the physical yes. meaning of that. Yeah, this is the geometrical okay. meaning. Yes. Okay, so here the set we are defining as such y. Basically, it's a straight line passing from origin, origin. and the yeah, and that uh, coordinate addition and multiplication, scalar multiplication is defined as such that that if we do that, those points that we get as result and will also fall uh, fall on that line. Mm -hmm. X plus y equals to zero, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. But, so here, uh, here one yeah. minute. Here one minus two itself is not matching x plus y equal to zero. So is that correct? Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. So yeah, I just missed that. Okay, so yeah, thank you. This is not in the v. So okay, just let me take this two minus. Okay, sorry, very sorry. So this will be two. Still, it it will not work. It will be four. It will be what? It will be three minus three. So still, it will not work. I just missed that. The element should be from that set. Yes. I just missed that, but yeah, element should be in the set. Now it is correct. One minus one, two minus two. Yes. No, sir. Uh, one plus two. It will be there. Uh, one plus two and minus one. Uh, okay, sorry. Here is my okay. One plus two. Here. Plus two. It's okay. I just missed it. And here is minus one, minus one plus two. Sorry. Minus one, minus two. Minus, minus two. Plus. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So wh what you get here? You get three here. Sorry. And here is uh, three uh, two. You will get minus two. two. Minus two. So it's still, it it is not it is not giving even if you added them, it is not giving zero. This is not element of V. So V is not a vector space. No, no. It's still it's still this is not giving. It is it is not saying no. So my addition is not giving. So see that what is the mean so, here? So V will not be a vector space then. Yeah, in that case, still my one extra operation is remain. I didn't give till now the uh, uh, that scalar multiplication. But one operation is failed. That yes, then... one operation is failed, then it is not a vector space. So that's the thing here. Okay, so I needed one extra addition. So so somebody suppose somebody is ask question. No, so he will give you a set. And these two operations surely will define. So let me show you an ex example, the same example. See that what is happening here? See, if anybody will ask, any anyone is asking, going to ask some question, is that set is going to be a vector space or not? So surely see that addition he will define. You see that addition is how it, addition is defined, and multiplication is defined. He will surely give two operation with respect to two operation. These eight conditions should be followed. Eight or ten condition. What are the condition here? Let me show you. Closeness should follow. Okay, and remaining these all should also follow. Then it will be a vector space. 
if any one any single condition will miss you will not say that that vector that is that set is not going to be a vector space yes sir sir ma'am has covered all this so yes so we are uh, we are going out of time so no no that's the one thing so see my mean is okay if no will understand the vector space then there is no mean to talk about the subspace because subspace is nothing but the subset of the vector space that's all yes subspace is nothing but the subset of vector the same vector space but uh it should the with the same operation it should be a vector space that's all sir do we have the solutions of these activity questions sorry sorry do huh. i mean do uh, do we have the solutions of these activity questions no so no. that we can because it's uh, very difficult to understand uh, so i mean ask I can't ask now, every question now i have added one extra so all of you attended the last uh, saturday session ca session yes sir so that's why i see now it is a four session for maths 2 you are not getting just come to the tss and i ask directly to pa that solve particular activity and he will lay there to solve that activity okay okay sir hmm. so sir, if, a, <coughs> if the addition operation is not defined for example if if we are given just you know 1 comma x where xy belongs to r Mm -hmm. Then we have to uh, one comma x say well, there is one question for one comma x where x belongs to R, right? So we can assume any value of R and see that uh, whether we can create uh, those associative uh, additions and uh, whether there is a zero element for that and all of that we have to find out and, and yes, see, right? yes, 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 yes. Those all conditions should be happen. Should happen. Okay. Okay. So, so let me now let me add extra thing. Let me. So I just even given here is only given the addition. Okay, now let me let me given same set. Okay, same set is there. Okay, x y. Okay, such that x plus y is equal to zero. Here x y belongs to R. Okay, and I'm operation is defining. Let me finish it. Let me finish it. V cross V to V. What do we mean that? That means I'm taking x one plus y one. Sorry, x one y one, x two y two. Addition is defined like this. Okay. X one plus X two, Y one plus Y. Okay. Now tell me, is this addition is closed? Is this addition is closed? Yes, sir. It should be closed right? because X one plus Y one, and if I take X one Y one uh, plus X two Y two, and X two Y two plus X one Y one, I think that's that. Uh, Uh, that addition works out. Yeah, it it gives it will give zero. The reason is simply, it means that this should follow x one plus y one is equal to zero, right? And this will should follow x two plus y two is equal to zero. Okay. Right, so I can select minus x one and minus x two, and then so that a zero exists for x one y one. Yeah. So simply you can think this is one single x and this is single y. So this is x and this is y. Just add them. X plus y is equal to x one plus x two plus y one plus y two. Okay, y one plus y two. So here, these two give you zero as here we have, and these two will give zero. That means finally have zero. So that means yes, this addition is closed under. This is closed. This addition is closed under. So this operation that means if this operation is closed under addition. So this is called operation. Here is a operation. This is different from addition, but yeah, this operation is here. Okay, let me change with the prime word again. This prime, okay. This is prime. Okay, so prime is means here addition. So this operation is. No, no, sir. Sorry, here. quick question. This x one y one and x two y two that you defined is it on that above vector x comma y where x plus y equal to zero? Is it? Yes, that yes, yes. That's the okay. meaning here. That's okay. the meaning here. This okay. element of v. Okay. 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 Got Now it. let me give the another. Let me give the another. Now. It still remain one multiplication. So, Two operation so, should be given. Yes. So, quick question there. So, x plus y it should be equal to y plus x, and because x plus y and y plus x both is equal to zero, that's why we are saying that it is closed under addition. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Because once you added them and separately, okay, and whatever the vector, this is a single vector in V, right? This is a single vector in V. Right. Coordinate wise addition you did. And finally, got oh, when once the this addition as here x plus y is equal to zero, this is simple single x, this is single y, 
Okay, this is x, this is y. Once you added them, you are getting zero. That means yes, it is a following. It is this condition is actually whatever after addition, whatever vector you are getting, no, whatever element you are getting it is lying in this set V. This is the mean of closeness. Got it. So this this particular vector is closed in everything. Okay. Now let me finish. Let me give now two operations as you see in here. Two operations is given. Let me give an another multiplication operation. So let me give here is dot prime. Okay. And this operation is not see this addition is done on the two vectors, but here is R cross V. What it means that you will take real number, let's say five, and a vector. Okay, and a vector and multiply with the operation dot prime. I am saying, okay. Let's say this is x1, y1. How it is defined? Okay, it is defined like C. Okay, sorry. Here is x1 by 5, x2, sorry, y, sorry, x1, y1 by 5. This multiplication is defined like this. Okay. Okay. Please, if you don't mute yourself. Please be unmute yourself. Okay. So this operation is defined like this. So let me change with C. This is any real number. So let me change with the C or alpha. Alpha is any real number. Okay. And this is here. This is an operation. So you can think this is like this also. Alpha x1, y1. How it is defined? X1 by alpha, X2 by alpha. And alpha should not equal to zero. Because with, when once you are dividing here, you should follow that. So now what is this? X, where did X2 come from? No, no, it's Y1. X1, Y1, not square here. Is X1, X2. No, no, you wrote uh, dot alpha, comma, X, comma, Y equals X1 by alpha, that, comma, that X2 by alpha. Y1. Y by alpha, right? Ah, so this operation, this dot is, is the operation. I am defining an operation. This is, should go in V. No, no, sir. Where you have written x1 alpha divided by alpha, comma huh. y1 divided by alpha, it should be. Oh, oh, sorry. Here is, no, no, no. Here is y1. It's a type A. Type a. Okay. Uh -huh. This is a type O. You can... So this is, the, this is the operation here. And if it is alpha equal to 0, no? I'm so I'm defining like this. Okay. If alpha, suppose alpha is equal to zero, what is in that case? I'm saying this is zero, zero. Okay. If alpha is equal to zero, in that case, uh, this alpha is zero, zero. See that how, see, this is look like a function, no? As, as I just said, I can define any way. So this multiplication is look like a function. Yeah. Same as a stepwise function. This is okay. Yes. It is a stepwise function. So this is an operation. Is this operation is closed under it is uh, operation is closed? This is the question, sir. Will that x plus y is equal to zero rule apply for this one also? Sorry, the x plus y equal to zero rule hmm. will it apply for this also? Yeah, so whenever the question will ask her, no, so surely this operation. So assume that I assume this, this operation, okay, assume addition is given there and like okay. this. Okay. okay. Now multiplication I am defining like this. Uh, okay. Okay. Now tell me is this operation is well defined? I uh, means well defined is closed in the is this, is this operation is closed? So here is. So sir, we have to find. So for us to find out that whether this operation is closed, we just have to prove that c into vector v is uh, c v, right? Yes. But no. No. C into v vector is. Should uh, it should belongs to V. That means whatever the vector you are getting, no, it should be element of V. So how you will check that? Sir, so, it will be closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody else? Yes. Yes, sir. Closed. Yeah, actually, reason is this is closed. Why it is? See, this is x1, y1 is from element V, right? This is element x1, y1. This is, is element of V. So that means x1 plus x2, sorry, x1 plus y1 is equal to zero. You have this, right? You have this, an element of V. That means this, this, this is the mean here. Okay, yes. this is the mean. Yeah, if we divide by any real number, 
then uh, both uh, side then it will also be zero no no so that means here just take this. so after operation alpha doing here dot al operation means multiplying with alpha you got this element now check that means Hello, here to the by alpha plus y1 by alpha is also equal to zero That's ah right. that means here x1 plus y1 upon alpha you will get that means this is zero as here the condition is because of x1 let me x1 y1 means that vector is belong to v that means this is zero and this is zero yes for any real number this is happening this alpha is any real number right and okay. also if alpha is zero in that case suppose alpha is zero in that case you are getting zero and once you add zero plus zero you will get zero so for any real number even alpha is zero or non zero in any case this 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 operation is actually closed right Yes. Sir, what about that other properties? Like, for example, uh, this mm -hmm. says that uh, for us to check whether uh, there is properties of addition and scalar multiplication, right? So the one where it says v plus w plus v prime should be equal to v plus w plus v prime. So that I will tell you. But 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 I will tell you that is okay, this clear? Okay. Is this clear? Th this is clear. This is clear to all of you. What do you mean by closeness? Suppose I change the operation, I change here the operation, okay, alpha, okay, I change the operation alpha, okay, x1, y1, like this, x1 by alpha, y1 by alpha plus 1, okay, alpha not equal to 0, 0, 0 when alpha equal to 0, so any, any way I am, as I said, this is an, a function so anyway this could be written as this is exactly equal to right this is exactly the same so whatever i am doing here any way any operation any way it is defined like this so say anyway i am defining so is this operation is closed no sir no, no. It may not be closed it may not be closed because here you it, it is difficult to, to add it may not be close for some real number it could be but for but, but not for all real number okay so this is the mean here closeness of multiplication now so you can say this is a this is a kind of multiplication look like a multiplication here you are multiplying alpha with different way so let me tell you now let me define another multiplication now alpha okay x y x1 y1 Here is okay. I'm I'm defining like this. Okay, until now here I am just giving the dot. Okay, now rest I will remove this one. Okay, this is going to be a, this one. Coordinate wise multiplication. This is another operation, multiplication operation. Okay. So that's the meaning here. So is this a well defined? Means closed? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, this is closed. Now see, now I, this this always I am showing you dot dot and in between dot no. In lecture you will never see because sir sir said that it's better to remove that because multiplication is usually never we see we used to do five we used to not write write like this this is look like a five dot three okay five point three so it's better to like write like this or just think that it is. Uh, it is never so like it i mean to say it is look like this just directly write like this okay don't show your dot if it is i am writing like this think that there is a dot of this okay that's the i i want to say it's better to means uh, sometimes you used to forget so think that okay here is in mind you can think there is this dot is there but you can forget it okay this is like this okay that's the meaning i want to say Okay, this is one thing. Now, whatever the, except this operation, I have this operation, this is also closed, this is also closed. Now, once these two happen, okay, now, okay, these two things are done. Now, it's still that this eight thing, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. We need to check eight things. Is this closed or not? Means eight thing is following this, whatever the, operations is given with respect to those operation is this operation is following or not okay 
how you will check this now let me give you an example that i am taking the same set okay v equal to x y okay and uh, x plus y is equal to 0 where x and y belongs to r okay now uh, and that plus operation is defined like this okay this operation is defined like this i took two vectors two element here of the set v and this one is follow x1 plus y1 sorry x2 y1 plus y2 coordinate wise addition i did but multiplication is defined like this alpha x1 y1 means here whatever the previously i just wrote x1 by alpha y1 by alpha okay then alpha not equal to zero and alpha sorry is zero then alpha equal to zero. now the question is this set with these operations is a vector space or not this is the question this you have this set with these two operations forms a vector space or not so what is the mean that you will check the closeness of the addition and multiplication now you can say that this is addition and this is multiplication so as previously we have checked that this is closed this operation is closed also check this this operation is closed okay these two operation is actually closed now further things these are the further things i have to check so let's check it the first thing is actually called commutative see that this is called commutative v1 plus v2 equal to v2 plus v1 what it mean that just take two vector let's say v1 is equal to x1 y1 v2 equal to x2 y2 okay v1 plus v2 should follow v2 plus v1 this is called commutative okay what it mean that x1 y1 plus x2 y2 let's check the left i want to check this condition okay when as you know in maths one when you are childhood you want to satisfy some equation what you used to do you take left hand side and try to reach the right hand side this is the way right yes you are in, you are in the as in i have uh, in i was in eighth, eighth, eighth standard so i used to do like i want to satisfy something i took the left hand side okay and whatever the thing is given i will do that and try to reach in by doing that operation try to reach the, the right hand side the same way i am trying to doing that okay so take the right, left hand side how the operation is defined go with the same operation coordinate wise operation is given. okay i am just doing y1 plus y okay okay so this is the way i reach there so you can write the same thing by this way just write the real numbers are commutative you you know the real operation this operation or real number is commutative you can do like this right that means here x2 y2 plus x1 y1 right that means here v2 plus v1 you reach the right hand side that means yes the first condition we are done we are in safe zone with the first condition is it clear uh, yes is it clear to all of you yes sir okay yes, sir. now let's let me show you the second condition what is the second condition second condition is uh this this is called associativity and i am not going to check it because this could be easily checked as the operation i did i check this one no just take the left hand side and reach to the right hand side this is called associativity this operation is called associativity and it is actually followed this operation will follow, follow with respect to addition whatever the operation we have this one this one with respect to this it will follow so uh, you are uh, still you are facing with the plus and the inside plus so let me change with this okay if you are all of you are facing still the with the plus so let me change okay this is plus inside is the same plus maybe because of that you are uh, facing this one so finally this is two. if you are facing with the this one problem problem with this one okay that's meaning 
okay now associativity i am leaving uh, i will i want to check it zero is there or not so uh, sir associativity does not happen right for this associativity will follow no no so if i take v1 uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 hmm. if i do x1 y1 plus uh, x1 x2 plus y1 y2 it will become zero hmm. and then zero plus uh, x3 y3 and uh, x0 plus x3 and comma zero plus y3 will be x3 comma y3 <laughs> and it is it will not be equal to uh, you know no no no, no. You are, uh, now you are confusing now you are you are getting confusion this is not to be like you are adding to be equal to zero you are not adding you are directly reach through the condition here no you are just go to with the operation as here see i i i made it zero somewhere no i just rearrange the term, rearrange the terms here and back to the same v2 plus v prime correct but but sir what they have given is that the addition operation so in this case x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 According to the definition of the vectors, they are supposed to be zero comma zero, right? X yes, one plus yes. x two is zero, y one plus y two is zero. Now, yes. if I interchange the terms, x two mm -hmm. y two plus x one y one, even mm -hmm. in that case, it will give me zero comma zero. Yeah, actually, it will give. It will Correct? give. So you can that, so that's how I can say LHS is equal to RHS, and yes. the first rule passes. But yeah, when I do one. it, when I do it for the second one, so mm -hmm. what I will take? I'll have to take three vectors: x one y one, x two y two, and x three y three. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, when I add say x one y one and x two y two, I'll get zero comma zero plus x three y three. No, no, no. You are not. Sorry, sorry. You are again getting confusion. So you are not adding. See, elements are there. You need to just perform. Okay, whatever I did here, still you will check that whatever you got here. Now, still the separate thing will give zero. No, no. Why? So why you are adding equal to zero? I am not getting it. Because so the, definition, the, the definition of the vector says so, right? It says that when you add x1 plus y1 and x2 plus y x1 y1 plus x2 y2, mm -hmm. you are supposed to get zero comma zero. That is the definition of the addition for these two vectors. Yes, yes. So is this happening no, here? But, is this no. happening here? No. It will happen, no? So if you do x1 plus x2, it is zero. And when no, you where is it, where it is zero? So x1 are, plus x1 plus x2 is equal to zero. X, it is supposed to be zero, right? Why? Why it is zero? Because that, that's what the definition. No, X, no, this is the not definition. That's why I'm saying why you are confusing. This is not given. X one plus X two not equal to X one plus X two is not equal to zero. X two plus Y two is equal to zero. Okay. This is uh, not saying to be X one plus X two is equal to zero. This, so we don't it, have this condition. We have x1 plus y1 is equal to zero. This coordinate gives zero. This coordinate gives zero. This will not give the zero. Where you have, you have, you don't, you you don't have x1 plus x2 is equal to zero. Where it is? I'm not so saying if this. If I one. take x1, x2, and y1, y2, then you're saying it is zero. No, uh, x1 and y1 only. X2 and y2. Once you are adding, this is gives zero. So what is can your you, can you please sir go to the definition of this vector? What is your definition? It's x plus y is equal to zero, no? Ah, okay. It's a uh, okay, okay. So it's the x coordinate plus y coordinate which is equal to zero. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So, okay. Sir, sir, I have one question related to commu commutative uh, property. Mm -hmm. What? What? Sir, uh -huh. uh, sir, uh, sir, actually, uh, if in case I have a function which is which is not closed under addition or which is mm -hmm. not closed under uh, scalar multiplication, mm -hmm. is it possible that uh, uh, that vector uh, could be commutative? It could be commutative, but we will not check. Okay. The criteria is checking. I'm Sir, I know, yes. but if the options are given that whether it is commutative or not, then obviously we have to check for that, right? Yes, then you have to check. Uh, but sir, before that, yes. yes. Sir, can you please take one question related to that? Uh, I have one, uh, one okay, question. Okay, so let me show you. Let me show you. So let me show you an example, which is operation. See, somebody, when somebody will ask that it is associative or not, so surely that operation. Yes, sir. In this only, 3.1, uh, mm -hmm. question number four. Okay. This one. I know this is five, I guess. Four. Okay. Yeah, sir. Uh, no, this is 3.1, right? Activity? Yes, 3.1, fourth question is there. Okay, one minute, I will zoom it. 
sir in in the meantime can you please go back to yes that, sir uh, in this sir uh, how this third option like i don't know if it is uh, not uh, closed under scalar multiplication then how we can we can get av uh, plus bv okay so if it is this question is there yeah, actually you check that this is not closed under addition right yeah and it is not yes. even closed under multiplication yes yes it is as so, i said usual addition yes yeah so sir then how this third option is correct i'm not getting this no third option i don't think it is uh, given to be correct is that yeah so it it's a correct option yeah. so let me check it okay 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 so uh, oh so this is not associativity right this is not no i said commutative commutative sir where is that commutative so a plus b is a scalar multiple right of vector v so this is not associate you decide on what is it called what is the name of this operation Sorry, what, what is it distributive oh, this distributive. is distributive so, okay okay so so how it is uh, true for distributive then yeah actually it is correct you okay, this is correct okay sir can you explain can you, this? can you explain sir okay so just take this this these are the real number right is it clear these are the real number yeah okay i i took a vector v v is hmm. what I, v will be should be one and any real number right any real number yes it's one comma x hmm. okay now i am taking it here one comma x okay yes, now sir. what is that how the usual addition is defined like you did usual addition and usual scalar multiplication is defined the operations are right so sir, it, it will be component wise right yes, so it it is yeah. a yes it is a coordinate wise yeah uh, coordinate so, wise that, yes. that, that that's the meaning of coordinate wise okay yeah mm -hmm. so that means this will be a real number right after adding this will be a real number let's say i'm saying this is c okay. yes sir so c time 1x so the and the operations is component wise sorry coordinate wise okay what it means there yes, it means that c time One and C X, right? This you will get as operation is given. But sir, we we don't want C. We want one only, right? And that's why okay, the, we so. said, and that's why we said that other uh, scalar multiplication. It's not close. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show okay. you. Still, I I did not reach to the here. One plus okay. Okay, V. Sir. Sorry, one V and sorry A V and V V. I till now I didn't reach here. Okay, you got this one, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now c equal to what? A plus b, right? A plus b, right? Correct, sir. Okay. Okay. So fine. Now it is uh, a plus b would be written as okay. Let me here is let's let's keep it as a plus b, a x plus b x, right? You will get this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Now a plus b, a, x, right? It will be this one, and uh, here is a plus b. This you will get here is plus will be as addition is defined. Yes, sir, correct. Okay. So now it, what it means that it means that here is uh, okay. Uh, I think okay. Let me check once. Again. Sir, can I quickly ask, uh, how did you get the previous step, sir? This one. Uh, the just no after that. This one. Yes, sir. C is actually a plus b. No, no. Ah, uh, sorry, not at that one. Ah, uh, after that. After that. Yeah, last, this is just a, this yeah. one. The last line, sir. What do you uh, mean? The last. This line. one. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. This is the usual addition you have now, so that means coordinate so wise addition. Be, so shouldn't it oh, be? Oh, sorry, 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 I, I, yeah. I, I missed that. Sorry, I missed that. I missed that. That's why I wrong this here. Okay, okay. Here it yeah. will be. This will be a a plus a x, right? A plus a x. Yes. That's yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. This is going to be b plus b x. Right. This is the coordinate wise addition will do. Yes. Yes. Understood. Yes. Now a could be taken as a common. Does here be common means here you can make it out as the multiplication you have. Yes. Now okay. this is yeah. A V plus V V B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, sir. Yes. Thank you. Okay. 
Yeah. Sir, can you please scroll up? Uh, I got confused with that uh, previous one. Uh, this one. This closed, one. Yeah, the closed one. I'm I'm still confused a little bit. This one. This one. Yes. Scroll a little bit up to the definition of the vector, where you where you said that you know it is closed under addition. No, not closed under addition. This is not actually closed under addition, but we have operation. No, not this one, sir. X plus y equal x x comma y where x plus y equal to zero. That one. Okay. Where this one? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit up. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one. X, yeah, yeah. Done. Uh -huh. So here you said if it's closed under addition, then x1, y1 plus x2, y2 should be, it is equal to x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. And so that is why you're saying it is closed under addition. Yes. No, not that is why. I need to check it. Is it closed or not? So I think you okay, just then not... you still need to check whether the property applies. So you do you, x1 plus you, x2 plus y1 you, plus y2. We were discussing here. You were there. Yes, yes, I was there. So why again you got confusion? I got confused. Okay, I got it now. I got it now. So you then check whether the previous property is retained, and that's where x1 plus y1 is equal to zero and x2 plus y2 equal to zero. Yes, okay, the it. same okay. same example I took, and I want to go ahead with the operations. Got it. Got operation. it, sir. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So can you go to question number five, sir? This activity only. Please complete this, no, sir. Uh, uh, let me say, uh, yeah, that's, that's I'm here. Is. That's I'm here. Let me, yeah, as you want to say, I am actually on discuss. I am going to discuss this one itself. Okay. So I still remain to see. This is now, I think the we check the commutative. Similarly, you can check the associativity. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, still remain to check inverse. So let me show you inverse thing. Oh, sorry, identity element and inverse. Okay, so identity element is called zero element is called identity element. So see, this is zero means what? It could be zero means. See, let me show you an example now, which is zero could be different from zero. Okay, zero means here is zero plus b means here is this this zero is not zero exactly. It it doesn't mean that zero comma zero. It could be zero comma one. It's depend on the operation as here defined plus. Okay, what I what I said is it not clear? No, no sir, no, not clear. Sir. Let me let me let me show you the operation here. Plus operation is defined like this. Okay, let's say x one, y one. Okay, plus x two, y two. The operation is defined like this. Okay, x one plus x two. Okay, y one plus y two plus one. Okay. Operation is defined like this. This plus prime is plus prime is defined like this. Okay, this is the. Now we know that we actually check that this operation is not closed. Okay, we just now checked right this one here. Where we checked this one. Uh, yes. We check that this operation is not closed. Not closed, yes. Okay, fine, no issues. But I want to say that uh, oh okay. Let me give you an example different. Okay, let me I'm taking set is V is actually R cross R. Okay. The whole, not that V. That V, v previously V was this one this with this condition okay but i am checking i am taking this one okay v is actually r cross means any pairwise real number okay any pairwise real number i am defining on this set operation is the same as here this one assume that this operation is i am not want to write again okay this operation you have on this set is it clear uh, sir which is y1 plus y2 plus 1 right that one yes, right yes this this operation Okay. Okay. Now I am taking an element. Let's say from V I am taking element. Okay. Let's say this is one comma two. I am taking. Okay. And I want to find an element from the same set V. Okay. Which give again the same element. Oh, so that is the zero vector. Okay. 
that is the zero vector so let's see that how it will be okay let's say this is v is actually let's say alpha beta okay. alpha beta i am saying that v is actually alpha beta small v okay so how the operation is defined by this way okay so let, let's take here the left hand side i want to find that that v that zero this is called zero element and i want to i want to find it how i will find it let's see that here how i want to find it so if you check that this is actually closed this is closed on this on this set there, there is no issue this r cross r once you add them you will get a real number this one and this is also a real number so this closed is actually closed under addition this operation okay you can check i am leaving it for you yeah, this is closed right? closed actually i want to find the zero element with respect to this addition let's say this is G, here is prime no here is prime let me let you write it so let's do the operation here alpha plus one this is one is this one add this two okay add this two alpha plus one beta this two beta plus two plus extra one this one okay not left hand side take the whole equation i am saying to be take the whole this is equal to 1 2 right and this is one. now see that what is happening here now compare these two the 0 and beta will be minus 1 so you will get the compare wise means compare here means your coordinate wise you will make it equal that means yes. alpha 1 is equal to 1 and beta plus 2 means here this will become 3 3 equal to right here is alpha equal to 0 and beta equal to minus 1. That means your that v, this is v, our v, right? This is v. So v plus here is prime 1, 2 equal to 1, 2. You are getting this v, small v is actually what? 0 minus. Zero uh, sir, could you give me could you give an example where 0 vector does not exist? Like, you know, like in which case, like. Yeah, I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. Okay. I will tell you. Yes. So is this clear? See that this zero vector is not over zero zero. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So that's why it is written. That's why specifically, specifically here written is zero vector. Means here is not zero, means zero zero or exactly zero. It is zero, comma, minus one. Different from zero zero is can be possible also. So, see, see, zero element is actually defined on the how the operation is given. Okay. Zero operation is actually depend on this operation. It could be different from zero, zero. Is it clear? Is it clear all to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. Now, let's back to our example. Our example is this one. This V. This V and with these two operations okay so that means in this case what is going to be zero zero tell me our, our our operation addition is defined like this what is going to be zero zero so zero zero it's in this case our our zero element is zero zero, zero, zero. But, yeah. but i want to tell you that why it is different also it could be different okay is it clear it could be different it doesn't exactly zero zero it could be different yes okay so in our case here for our case it is actually zero zero fine okay now let's go to ahead we have actually see that zero zero is now one just now one person i have asked sir there is a possibility that zero element is not exist yes sir it was me so suppose whatever i just got here Okay, suppose I just now whatever I got here, okay, whatever I got here, it could be possibility that this element may not belong to that set V. For our okay. case, for this case, it is actually belong, but suppose that there is a possibility that it is not belongs to that V. In that case, actually you will find an element. But that element is not going to belong that set. Okay. Okay. So in that case, we will say zero is uh, zero vector is not exist. 
Okay, in the in this case, sir, if we restrict the uh, our numbers, yes, if we restrict the our yeah, then then you will say that okay, zero vector is not exist. If we restrict restriction, I will give. Suppose here is actually for our case, here is actually zero is existing. Suppose anyhow I have defined something, and suppose I got zero zero for this one is zero comma one. Suppose I am saying mm. I got zero comma one. So mm. zero comma one is not following this condition, no? Okay. Or we could that say means, like x and y are positive integers, and since it is zero and minus one in our answer in that the bottom, so uh -huh. it does not belong to that so set. Something that, if you give so some restriction in that case, you will get the vector, you will get okay. an element, but that element is not going to be that set. Okay, sir. Okay. That's okay. the case here. The existence meaning. Okay, sir. Clear? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on ahead. The inverse thing. Okay. Now let's find the inverse here. The same with the same. Now, uh, let's with the same. Uh, now back to our operation here. Our set is this one, and the operation is defined like this. Okay. Let's find the inverse here. This is the operation. This is the thing. Okay. Let's find the inverse here for this one. Okay. Let's say I am taking an element again one two. Okay. I am from this set V. This set. Okay. R cross R. Let's say I am saying V prime is the inverse. What it mean that? It means that once you add with that vector, you will get identity element. What is our identity element for this set? And tell me, zero comma zero comma zero. No, what is our identity here? Found this one. one, no. Our identity element we found this one, no. Zero comma minus one. Zero comma minus. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Zero what is he saying here? V prime plus V gives zero identity element. Yes, yes, yes. So why we call it as identity element? Identity is means one. once you are adding them, you are getting the same element. That's why it is identity element. But identity word means one, isn't it? One. Uh, no, 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 no. So identity element means you will say identity element for the vector space. You will say that. Zero, zero, or whatever I am getting, well, we are getting. Okay. So is it clear? That that's the meaning here. Yes. Now let's let's find here. Let's say this is. Uh, let's say I am saying this is a comma b. B prime a is actually a comma. Sorry, a comma b. B. Okay. And I will try to find. So here is saying to be existence. No, there exists. We will try to find a comma b. So let's find that. So how? So how operation is defined? A plus one, B plus two plus one. Okay, this is this equal to identity element. Is it clear? And this is A yes. plus one. So let's do the coordinate wise equal to so A plus one equal to zero, and B plus here is become three. Three equal to minus one. Okay, that means your A equal to minus one and B equal to minus four. Yes. So, for this case, okay, I just, I just missed that. For uh, this case is okay. I think so. Okay, for this. Case. Okay. Okay, I just took an example and based that example, actually, I am finding. Okay, I I did not went to the generalized form. Okay, no issues, no issues, no issues. Okay, I the, for the particular vector I took and I just found. Okay, I will tell you what I am doing a mistake here. Okay, this is everything is fine. I just went through the particular vector. Okay, but I need to go with the generalized form. I will tell you how it is. Exactly, you will find the same thing. Okay, you will find the same. But I went through the particular element. We need to go whenever we will try to find. It will be in the general equator. So it is a correct. There is no error in here also. But I need to go with the general vector. Let's okay. make. Okay. So this for this vector, this vector we have inverse is what minus one minus. Right. Yes. For this vector, vector we we have uh, minus one and minus one. I think I'm missing something. Okay, I think I'm missing. Once you add with the one minus one comma two, what? Ah, no, no, correct. Sorry, sir. It's correct, sir. Yeah, it is. Sir. So for this vector, 
this inverse is there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So identity elements here is for general element. Oh, here is means here we need to take here the not particular here we need to take a but general vector. Okay. Let's change with the x y here. Okay. Here should be x plus. Sorry, here it should be alpha plus x. Means here I am I am generalizing general generalizing here. Okay. This is y plus one. Okay. So this is here is going to be x and alpha plus x and here is beta plus y plus one. So this is going to be here is uh, alpha is equal to minus x and beta is equal to beta is going to be here two minus two minus y minus one which alpha is will be one only so alpha plus x is it equal to x sorry alpha will be zero only so uh, here in this case so uh, this uh, uh, additive uh, inverse will be same for all uh, zero zero vector will be same same no no it will be alpha will be minus x uh, plus 1 yes sir alpha plus x is equal to 1 why 1 it is x no no alpha plus x is equal see if you look at the equation alpha plus x comma beta plus y plus 1 is 1 comma 2 no, for zero vector is all for same for all. It is not variable. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I'm missing something. Okay, just sir, uh, sir, let uh, go to that slide. Mm -hmm. You are equating it as one, so equate it for uh, x. Go, go to that uh, right. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yeah. It should be yeah. I this should be x here. No? Oh, I just missed that. Yes. This is x y. That's an uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh. that, that's x. So this should be see, the same element, whatever I am just writing here, there should be also right side is x, y. Yes, it is correct. Alpha will now it is going to be in the general, generalized format. Here it is now going to be in generalized format. So yeah, so this is the actually proper way. See, whenever you are, see, this is a particular vector I found. Exactly the same inverse you will get, 0, minus 1. But yeah, so, but yeah, in this case, we but are going to generalize. Thing, right? huh? Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean... Yeah, it is the same thing. Same, yeah, same. it is the same. Zero vector will same. be same for all. Yeah, it is the same thing. Here you'll get here, but uh, uh, y y will cancel here and you'll get here minus one. So minus yeah. one. Yeah, that's why I said it. You'll get the same thing, but yeah, we need to go with the general form. I just go with the particular vector, but the best way actually once you write the in the in the suppose you are in the BSc and offline BSc, so if you do with the particular vector, no, it is not the marks will be not given to you. Uh, so it is a it is a correct mathematical writing uh, mathematically correct means in the generalized form you need to find otherwise it is there is no issue and you will find actually you find the inverse uh, sorry zero vector is zero minus one as here in the generalized form we got us okay so it is correct okay. so there is no issue okay so I am uh, okay zero vector is, sorry zero vector is zero minus one and uh, similar the inverse is for one minus one comma two is minus one comma minus four. Okay. So that means still now here is everything is fine. This four is actually satisfied for what? For this vector space. Okay. Now let's back to our case here. For our this v is here. Okay. So zero identities. You said zero zero. I am taking a vector. Let's say x1 y1 okay what is going to be inverse for this one minus x1 minus minus x1 minus yes. x1. Yes. same because of zero is the if you do that if you check this will get so that means inverse is actually exist and now still remain to check is this inverse is belongs to this v or not existence also asking no so that means you need to check it here so how you will check minus x1 plus minus y1 is it giving to zero Yes, it is actually giving to zero because you have x1 plus y1 is equal to zero, right? That means, yes, inverse is exist for each vector here, okay? Yes. Okay. Now, let's move ahead and let's check the remaining four. Sir, I have a question. 
Mm-hmm. So let us say, uh, you know, they ask. So in that activity question where you took that example from, mm-hmm. they said if check if under usual scalar multiplication and division, check if v one is a vector space or not. Mm-hmm. So we have to check all these conditions. Yes, you have to check all these conditions, sir. But we won't have time, no. <laughs> so <I> mean, <laughs> so that's not a work. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing here. You need to practice here. You okay, need sir. to practice. Okay, sir. So I am taking. I am. I am taking almost two hour to finish it because you don't know the concept. Yes, sir, But yes, once sir. you know the concept, very quickly you can do. Very okay. quickly. It will not take more than one minute. I will say. Okay, sir. So see, I am saying whatever. Closed the addition and closed multiplication is sometimes confusing. Yes. There, so, uh, there will be time to think. Sir, that, can you provide any book? Uh, which you have solved example for this yes, kind of vector yes, problem any online resource also where there are multiple solved examples so where you can practice because it. i have studied a lot of foreign books and an uh, indian book as well but follow, they are follow, i mean follow they are, this don't have uh, solved example i mean it's step by step solved examples i think fred work uh, the english is not the rating fred work is there okay i think this this is the, i think this is fred work fred work fred work yes Could you add that in chat box? What is the name of the book, sir? Fred Berg, Linear Algebra by Fred Berg. So can And you write that in chat box? Sir, I'm just googling. I'm it writing right. here itself. You can, you are able to watch, right? Linear Algebra with Fred Berg. Sir, I'm not Berg. getting the spelling. F R I D B what? B B E R G B E R G. Okay. Sir, I got the PDF, sir. It is there. Yes. And Fred Berg is there. And also, if you search the solution of this book, is available. Okay. Okay. It is available. Sir. Can you share the PDF? I'll share it with. <laughs> okay, so, so somebody will ask. Somebody will share. See, it will be if I will share with uh, here. Maybe it kind of uh, copyright may happen. I don't know. So I will. No, I'm sir, suggesting it is available it. online freely. PDF is available online. Okay, so <laughs> so kindly but, send the link. Yeah, just yeah, so I'm, so I'm, I'm telling you the, the website chatbox. also. There is a book. No, you know, uh, I'm saying to the guy who has find the book on online, he can send the link here. Yes, yes. Sending one second, one second. Let I'm me sorry. tell you. Let me tell you. There is a website, Bookfi. It is a very important book uh, website for to download any kind of book, bo- which is not Bookfi. Okay, this is Bookfi name. If you search here, Fred Berg, you will get easily. Okay, any kind of, not even only mathematics, any kind of book. Okay, this Bookfi is actually one website. It is a contains of lots of I don't know how many books are there. Any kind of book, science, arts, I don't book know. Book of fees, F I. Yeah. Ah, uh, F I. Yes, B W O K, F I. Book fees there. Okay. On this website, if you go, you will get the all books. And also, you can gen in the in the Google search, you search solution of Fred Berg. No, you will get the solution PDF itself. There you will now you can solve there the lots of example. It even the Fred Berg app, and you can see the solution of it also. And also, there is another book. If you want to follow, Thomas is another book. Thomas Calculus. Okay. Yes, sir. I've seen that book. It it is good, but it doesn't have many questions, sir. Thomas Calculus. Uh, and there lots of example. Lots of example. Also, lots of practice exam. Practice. Practice. Yes, sir. I've seen that, and it's more about vectors also. After you no, know, more about calculus also. After that, yes, so, calculus also. Whatever in week nine, ten, and eleven we study, that is also covered in this Thomas calculus. Thomas yes, calculus sir. is generally uh, will prefer. I I don't think each V Tech student will follow. Ah, yes, sir. Okay. And I checked the other one also, sir. In the on the dashboard, they have given another book, MML by uh, another yes. Jewish author. Uh, I checked that also. That is also okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The yeah, Thomas, book that uh, the link they have given in they only have questions. It doesn't have solutions. Ha, yes. Okay. But you need to find the the solution. You can search on no, Google. No, I that want to have there. book that has solved examples because uh, that's reading by this is very difficult. Sanjeev, check the link that I've shared on the chat right now. It has okay, solved examples. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me go with that. Okay. So let me. So see whatever we have this. We set okay with this operation. I am saying this set is not form a vector space. Can you tell me the reason why? Now, so till this four is satisfied, okay. This four is satisfied. Problem with this one. 
what is the problem uh, sir which one sir i am saying this set with these operations okay yes sir form sir form uh, it doesn't form a vector space can you tell me the reason why this to satisfied this four have satisfied scalar multiplication distribution lower branch yes because of distribution it will create a problem can you tell me why the distribution will create a problem because divided by c yes the divided by c here you can say once you divide you cannot distribute because here is the in division the alpha is only and if suppose you have 1 upon a plus b you cannot distribute kind of a plus 1 by b because of that because of this operation i am leaving now for you to all of you you check okay. with this sir. okay because of this operation only this operation each operation will follow but because of only this operation it will not follow see that one only one operation is missing and this whole the whole uh, our set is going to be fail with the vector space yes sir only one operation and i don't know so similarly there could be many different different uh, sets and operation which single maybe this one also cannot follow only single one fail and then you will say oh the whole vector is the whole set is not actually a vector space yes sir okay. so that's the mean here so if all of you got the vector space no only one minute will take to tell you what is subspace now that's why i took the lots of two hour i took almost for vector space but only one minute will take you to what is a subspace but only just need to write the definition what is subspace let me tell you okay now suppose okay we are a very good condition with the vector space okay and i am taking uh, 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 okay let me take a uh, vector space yeah uh, square dot sorry sir uh, you see the inverse is unique right sorry inverse is unique right additive inverse will be a unique yes so uh, there is a uniqueness thing also has happened so see that there is a possibility but whatever we are doing no till now there is not uh, uniqueness will not fail but each time you need to check the uniqueness also but it generally not fail it is actually uniqueness is till now i i very less only one or two example when the even this set is changed no in that case there is a possibility otherwise you can assume that uniqueness is always fail okay? so there is no i don't think you need to worry Okay, and so if you yeah. want to if you are give such kind of problem no it will take for us to create such a problem and need to see for such kind of problem we need to change the set even maybe maybe we need to go with the polynomial space there is a there is a possibility because that contains a variable in those cases uniqueness creates problem otherwise whatever we are dealing no there is no okay, problem okay, so i am i am taking an example okay let me first take an vector space then i will tell you the sub space so with the same uh, which one is hey, by the way just a quick question does the professor mention the prof vector sub space uh, uh, during the first uh... no it is in the it is in the tutorial it is in the tutorial the professor have missed the concept of uh, sub space okay so we have uh, v1 v, v1 is not a vector space v3 is not a vector space we have p2 is a vector space yes so let's take i am taking this example okay v2 is actually going to be a vector space so let me write what is v2 here very quickly we will see the sub space and also very quickly we will see the linearly independent dependent also it will not take much time give me only 10 minute i will finish this only will take with the sub space uh, if you very much clear with the vector space there is nothing now okay so i am taking a vector space okay what is vector space which is uh, x y z okay this is three coordinates are there where let me exactly write 
x, y, and z is exactly the same. These are all belongs to real number. Okay, that means this is three coordinate all are real number. Operations operations is defined like this: x one, y one, z one. Now I'm 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 very much uh, okay. I I'm thinking very much okay that all of you know that I if I will write quick, quickly here operations. I don't think there is a issue with that. So I see that how the operation is defined. It is operation is defined uh, exactly the first coordinate. V two, you know, V two is from this. So see how the operation is defined. It is different from that. Well, I am adding with the vector, but I am getting the this one, this vector. Okay, this is the operation. This is vanished, but I am defining like this. This is the operation here. We are defining. Okay, then multiplication is defined like this. How the multiplication is there? Only the multiplied in between. Side. Okay, so C time x, y, z. This is exactly x, p, y. Okay. If you check that, this is a vector space. Okay. Okay. So assume that for the time being, assume that you need to check the each eight properties and two remaining closeness properties. Ten properties you have to check. Then you will say that this is a vector space. Now I am taking a subset of it. Okay. What I am sub 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 subset I am taking. Let's. I'm taking s is equal to x y z such that x plus y plus z is equal to is this subset of this v or not? Is yeah. this subset? Okay. So it is a subset, right? Because it you says x y z belongs to R. Yes. This is anything. a subset. This is a subset. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, whatever the operations are here, no, apply the operation, the same operation on here. Okay, same operation I am defining. Same operation I am defining. Okay. Now, check with the eight condition, the whatever the vector space condition. Okay, check with the same. Will this follow? No. Not necessary. Not necessary. I mean to say, I have to check. So I have to check mm -hmm. those, those all conditions, all ten conditions. Okay. I have to check it. But there is an easy way. There is an easy way to check that we can directly say is this set is a subspace or not. What is the subspace? Uh, how I can easily check. First, the simple way is just find the zero vector. Okay. Means here, sorry, I am not zero vector. Let me show you where is the subspace. See, there are many ways to say that, but I need to go with the uh, where the tutorial have uh, to check that which have which is a subspace or not. What is the condition? Okay, so see that definition: a subset is a vector space called sorry a subset of W of a vector space V over R is R. Is called a subspace if W is also a subspace over R with respect to the same operation. That's why I took the same operation, right? With the same operation on the same on a subset, I am applying the same operation. Okay. This is the definition of subspace. Here is the condition. What are the condition here? Three conditions are here. Okay. What are the condition? See, only need to check what closed under addition, closed under scalar multiplication, and zero is there. Only three condition. See, no need to check all. Then check only first above two. These two. See that this first two is this two is actually closed under addition, closed under scal scalar multiplication, right? If you see that here, uh, yes, sir, it is closed under addition. And only these two, the first two condition, first two condition of the vector space. Check only two condition, first two condition, these two condition, okay, these two condition. Check only these two, these two, and the zero as I I was trying to find zero vector. Only only these two, these, three. okay. 
if you check only these three then fine then your sub then your uh, sub uh, subset is going to be a subspace okay not four not all 10 not all 10 only this three so with the same operation if you check these two these three conditions these two and the zero that's all your subset is going to be now you can directly say this is your subspace if it is follow that now all of you very much clear with the what is a closed under addition what is a closed under scalar multiplication and what is zero vector that's why i said only two minutes will take to tell you that what is a subspace that's all is it clear to all of you uh, so sir just to clarify we just check if it's closed under addition multiplication and zero Yes, if these three conditions are satisfied, then it's a subspace. Yes, that's all. Okay, sir. Okay. That's all. That's all. So, what is the thing? Just take the whatever the subspace set is given. Subspace I want to check. I have this set. I have these two operations. Check those the, those three conditions. That's all. If it is following, say that that is a subspace. If it is not, say not. Okay. Fine. That that this is the subspace. Now I am oh, only one or two minutes will take you what is independent and dependent. Okay. The next we will say in the next lecture. I mean, um, see, see, many times I don't know what is taught in this here. Let me check it. What is, uh, sir, is telling how we will check the independent and dependent? So in the sir, what is uh, independent what is, has a trivial solution, right? Yeah. So let me tell you what is e this is very easy, very easy. Uh, let me see that once. How? What are the things sir is teaching? Like, is this sir have formed the uh, two ways or not? Uh, like, okay. using the, the professor is talking about trivial and non-trivial solutions. Yes. Okay. So let me tell you. Is these are easy. Okay. It will not take much time. I think all of you is staying here for five minutes only. Five or eight minutes. We will just finish it very quickly. Okay, so suppose now, can you tell what is the meaning of in linear independence? And yes, okay, independent. And first, I will tell you the independent and then independent. Uh, sorry, dependent. Okay, now all of you assume that. Okay, I am taking this is a vector space over R, over R. Okay, and operations is usual. Usual. What do you mean by usual? I am so saying it means normal mean, addition and normal multiplication. Normal usual. addition, normal multiplication means if you it's are taking two vector, okay, two vector here, okay, means coordinate wise be, addition. Yes, x one plus x two comma y one plus y two. And multiplication is c x one coordinate wise comma c y one. Yeah coordinate wise multiplication this is the mean of usual addition okay if you somebody is writing usual addition and usual scalar multiplication means this is the mean this is you can say generalize even general means somebody saying usual addition and usual scalar multiplication that means this is this is the mean if it is in three coordinate three coordinates x y z that means separately just add them in the coordinate wise coordinate wise to the multiplication usual multiplication okay, this is the mean okay now i am taking vector here okay i am taking two vector one comma two two comma four okay i am taking two vector here so what i am doing i want to check is this two vectors is independent or dependent what it means that it means that let's write here like this okay Let's write like this. Let's just if somebody says this, just write like this. Okay. Now solve this to find the value of alpha beta. So how you will solve this? It is going to be as you have usual addition and usual scalar multiplication is there. This is please if you are mute yourself. Alpha to alpha, right? Plus here is 2 beta, 4 beta. This is equal to 0. 
zero means here zero zero okay yes zero zero means zero zero is here zero vector is in this set zero in this set zero element is here is zero means here zero element in this vector space zero element is actually zero zero it may differ but yeah you need to find actually suppose your space is different then you have to find zero element and equate to zero zero uh, sorry equate to zero element okay suppose i just now said in some have zero minus one then equate to zero minus one okay yes so, no, no need to confuse here here is equate to zero means zero vector okay now just add them coordinate wise addition will perform here so alpha 2 plus 2 beta 2 alpha plus 4 beta this is equal to 0 zero now compare these two coordinates coordinate wise comparison will happen here comparison will happen here so 2 beta is equal to 0 2 alpha plus 4 beta is equal to now this is form a system of linear equation right this is a system of linear equation yes that's why in starting you study the system of linear equation see the use of it now solve the system of linear, sir, linear sir, equation okay sir how you remove that plus sign where is i remove the plus sign um, this one this one this is not what this this one so we have done coordinate two. wise addition that's why it's alpha plus 2 beta we have we are doing coordinate wise two vectors addition yeah, okay okay Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So this is done. So now you need to find the now find find the solution. So this is if you check that this system has now you are very much done with the Gauss elimination or as you know I don't know. So you can you you can go with right. So see that what is happening now. I am going to tell you. So either you can write what? it. One quick what? question on this: uh, the coefficients become the the vectors are column matrix here, no, matrices here, right? Matrix here. No vectors are uh, yes, yes, column wise, yes. Uh, are column column matrix. So one comma two and three, uh, one one two and two four will become the row like rows of a matrix. Yeah, the way you have written. This okay, this okay. this one, this one, okay. column wise. Okay. So this is the now you need to find the. Uh, by using the augmented you can go or see this is a form of, by the Kramer rule you go okay Kramer rule apply because this form a square matrix okay no or, sir we cannot use Kramer rules its determinant is zero ha huh, so see that means here uh, okay so that's the thing here yeah you cannot uh, do because of so best thing is always go with the Gauss elimination okay always do Gauss elimination it will tell you that so now if this system has infinitely many solution what it mean that what it mean that alpha and beta is not exactly zero it have not unique solution then alpha and beta is not equal to zero if the case is here if alpha and beta once you solve that and you got alpha equal to zero and beta is equal to zero in that case you will say that this vector space is going to be independent Otherwise, just say that if alpha and beta not equal to zero or alpha is not equal to zero, beta is any one of them is non-zero, then you will say dependent. These two vectors are dependent. That's the that's the that, this is the definition. That's the definition. Sir, uh, but uh, why why this is important? It means uh, what does this tell about that vector? Once you study the uh, week four. You will get that. Why? What is the use? Once you study the basis, there you will see the importance of independent dependent. I mean sir, to ask, sir, that what does this tell about uh, what is this property? What is property? I, I just said if alpha is equal to 0, beta is equal to 0, then say that these two vectors are independent. If non zero, anyone if non zero, just say these two vectors are dependent. Okay. So, suppose here is another vector I am writing 3, 2. Okay. I want to check is these three vectors are independent or dependent. So, how you will check that? Just write extra thing. Okay. Alpha 1, 2, beta 2, 4 plus let's say gamma. Gamma 
3 2 this is equal to 0 okay now what do you do coordinate wise addition you will do you will reach here so i'm i'm very quickly writing here okay alpha plus 2 beta plus 3 gamma is equal to 0 you will get 2 alpha plus 4 beta plus 2 gamma equal to 0 this is the system of linear equation you will get using this is it clear are you all of you are getting this yes yes sir. Mm -hmm. now solve this solve this system if all alpha beta and gamma all are zero then you will say these three vectors are independent otherwise just say is it clear sir, sir. how to find data of uh, this matrix no so for this matrix determinant is not work here now the gauss elements will only work so yes, my sir. suggestion is always go with the gauss even it is a square matrix go with the gauss gauss elimination okay, sir. so sir, sir if, if it is zero then uh, dependent no all of is zero then independent okay, okay. alpha beta is one, zero then anyone any one of them is non-zero then say these, these three vectors are dependent sir for dependent and independent sir i think we don't need to even calculate in this case because here we can easily see there are three variables and two equations. yes yes three variable and two equation that means it's surely it has surely to. infinitely yeah. many solutions yes sir. sir just wanted to connect to what we learned in week two mm -hmm. so when we're doing reduce or low reduction form Mm -hmm. You have a pivot variable and a free variable. Huh. So in dependent, you the free if there is a free variable, which means it is dependent, right? So if I if I do row reduction, no, no. If it is a if there is a free variable, then uh, no, then it, there should be an independent variable, no. Okay. If okay, all sir. of are is dependent, then that means all of uh, any one of is not free, then in that case dependent. Okay. Okay. I, please watch my uh, Friday session. I very clearly I told you in a very easy way how to find independent and dependent. That is very easily you can get just writing easily. You can just form a matrix and write above x, y, z, and easily you can say that which is going to be independent and dependent. When you will say dependent and independent. Okay. Oh. So, so same same dependent and independent uh, definition is here also. Yes, same same. There is no. Same that is for the see that is in you week to study it, it will apply for any for always. Okay. But no. here is not there is no use of independent and dependent. Okay. Don't be confused. Don't use many times dependent and in, and independent. I my suggestion is just check that okay, this system has infinitely solution or not. If it has infinitely many solution, that means alpha, beta, or gamma, any any one of these non-zero, right? That means vectors are going to be dependent okay if alpha beta and gamma is going to be zero in that case you will say independent so so here, if one is non zero right uh -huh. if uh, any one of is non zero that in in that case your vectors this vectors i think you are all of you are confusing with the independent variable and here is independent vector i think i think all many of you are confusing the word yes. independent variable okay independent variable and independent vector also for the case of dependent dependent variable and dependent vector yes sir i am also having confusion in that <laughs> so <laughs> my suggestion is think this one is still weak to only and forget it okay forget now forget there is no use of okay only till week two you will see use of it and forget now independent vector is always work till week 11 and here i am using the word independent vector not variable okay so whatever you studied till week two here i am writing for the variable case till week two it is only in week two and it is an independent variable word is there. Read there, solve the problem and forget. My suggestion is please forget.
here is independent vector is there so these are the vectors not the variables okay these are the vectors that's why here is independent vector and when i will say independent vector means you need to check by this thing. okay and solve the system of equation if the system of equation system of linear equation has infinitely or non zero solution then your vector your vector is going to be dependent if all of them alpha beta gamma is going to be zero once you solve the system then you are going to the then vectors is going to be independent okay and so forget about this variable also dependent variable okay it, it, it will work till week two only so i am talking about in sorry dependent and independent vector okay these are the vectors you have is it clear to all of you yes okay. it means the x y and z are not uh, variables in three dimension system of three equations uh, x y z is there you know you studied uh, for uh, the independent and dependent variable no system of system of equations for example uh, if we consider system of three equations uh, then if we get the uh, coefficient matrix zero it means they are these equations are interdependent we can make generate third equation by using other two equations right this is what it means mm -hmm. if we consider this as variable but yes, if yes, we consider yes. x y z as vectors that means they have itself have some properties i mean they are not variable anymore they are not no, 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 number no, sir, anymore. Sir, no 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 so if you are saying to be x y z is a vector no x y z is not going to be vector here is vector is this one and so that's why no need to confuse there here is variables are alpha beta gamma okay here is variables are alpha beta gamma okay okay i can change it here yes y said i'm changing here and i'm saying you found a form a system of linear equation in three variable x y and z i think what is this 2 2y 2z i think I, i think this is 4 so no issue find the value of x y and z and if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 once you found that answer if x y and z is equal to 0 say this this is going to be independent vector okay don't be confused see these are the coefficient only i can anywhere right alpha beta gamma i can say or x y z or a b c anything i say can say right there is no issue i can say a b c also you can say alpha beta gamma so i want to find the alpha gamma alpha beta gamma values only and based on the alpha beta gamma values or x y z values on see these are the best values right 0 0 if it is happening then you just say independent if not dependent you will see in the week four also don't worry okay dependent and dependent will happen in basis also okay don't worry but this is the definition okay okay sir okay so this is still week 3 this all if you are very much clear with the vector space no everything is easy everything is going to be easy sir easy for week 3 or you are saying about easy for a subsequent week for the, for the uh, upcoming week also okay okay till so week so vector space week. is very important Huh? the vector. problem with this week 3 is that the concepts are completely abstract i cannot simply cannot visualize it, that what it is that's now, the problem now see whatever you will do the problem no upcoming for upcoming weeks you will directly what is this the question will use the word v is a vector space find the basis v is a vector space define the linear transformation like this that's all so everywhere you will see the vector space vector space vector space means what is space means word here space means now see you are in week 1 sorry in maths 1 r is actually space and you are doing set relation function addition multiplication no r is actually space 
R is kind of space and you are freely doing all operations. Similarly, vector space is a space, is a platform. It is a platform where you are doing these all. Okay. Here, as here, R is a platform where you used to do multiplication, natural number, these all things are there. No. Similarly, V is a space, V is a platform. There you will play, there you will do some function, there will you will see some different, different kind of function. As here in R, you used to find the fx, domain, co-domain, no? Similarly, on this space, this is a platform, you will see the linear transformation. You will see the domain, sorry, domain, in place of domain, you will see null space. In place of co-domain, you will say uh, image space. This you will see the in the on this platform as here for function real number. This is the platform and you are working. Similarly, this is a platform. You will see a linear transformation of function. There you will play. Okay. This is a platform. And once you very much understand this platform, everything will be easy. As you in the real number, right? As in the real number, you are very com very much comfort. Then you will easily function, you will deal with the function, any kind of function. Similarly, once you very much comfort with the vector space, this place, this platform, then transformation. See, transformation is, will once you will very much clear with the transformation, then in MLF, you will say eigenvalue, eigenvector. Okay, this word will play on this linear transformation. So be clear with this platform, okay, vector space. This is a platform where you will play. Clear? What is vector space? That's why I'm saying once you know the vector space, everything will be easy. Is it clear? But I will have to practice a lot more. <laughs> yes. Now, I my suggestion is all of you, please go through this video lecture or even the uh, Lavanya. It's he also taught very well. Compare these two videos, okay? Watch it again and again. Be careful with the, be careful with the this uh, vector space, this platform, and then move ahead. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is all about for today's session. I think it will help you much. Yes, sir. Uh, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, sir, I have a doubt in three point one, sir. Okay. Last question. Anyone have doubt and else? Sir, I had a general doubt. So we have we we see a reduced form, like row reduced form. Mm -hmm. And we see like there is one row that is all zero. Then we mm -hmm. can directly say there is a dependency, right? Mm -hmm. And if and if there is like if it's in like an I form, then we can say it's an independent set, right? That's that's the gist of it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so somebody have activity. Uh, Three point one, last one, sir. Get, get, okay. okay, last one. Yes, sir. This one. Yes, sir. This one. Okay, so W is this is a subset of M two cross two with usual addition and scalar multiplication. Okay, is a subspace. Okay, now uh, okay. Let me very quickly you can under you can get this. See, as you V I wrote right R cross R over R right. Similarly, M two cross two over R is a set. What is this set? This is a set of matrices. Okay. And this is a set of matrices, right? Okay. And okay. if you see that, if you see this, see, my suggestion is please watch these tutorials. If you see the tutorials, no, I did a, see, if you see the tutorials, I did the same, whatever the examples is there, I did example on the subspace on this set okay. if you see that uh, okay yeah uh, i think tutorial four or tutorial three here my suggestion is please watch tutorial okay i think okay. i see that i did on matrices i check the independent and dependent also 
I did I solved some problem there. Okay, and on the matrices also, how to check using the this find, by finding the matrix also. I think in uh, lecture in this tutorial three, I have solved problem on the subscript. Yes, see there. This is a uh, on the matrix. What is a this is a uh, R three cross three. I I think then in week two in the tutorial two I did means we tutorial one two and three on play you'll play, see the on the matrix okay sir okay, okay, sir. okay sir. thank you please sir. watch these tutorials you will easily get that okay, okay thank you okay thank you so much uh please you and mute yourself thank, thank you, you sir. so i'm ending now the session uh if there is any issue please join see there is a uh, ta session please go with the activity ask him i will i will see i will say him to if anybody is asking any activity he will surely solve okay he is a nice person and he will surely solve and i have keep two session of him okay one is on friday and that's why i just given on the that's why i send an announcement to all of you if you see that this one sir the ta session is for asking ta session is see that the i send an announcement and with the link okay this is the structure of the our session this is today's session okay if you click on you will join and this is the doubt ta session this is the ta session this is the, we have two ta session so there are four session settings okay but ta session is not going to record or even not going to live okay so my suggestion is please join that he will he is there He is very much with the all concept. He will surely sit with you and solve the problem. And each session is up to our. Okay, if it is not suffices, I will add one more session. But please join TA session and solve with him. Sit with him. Okay, and go with the each activity. He is there. He will solve your doubt. Okay. 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 What happens sometimes for 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 a single question we need to wait for thirty to forty minutes. Yeah, actually, what is the see the concept is actually bigger. So he will start teaching like I see one one concept vector space. I took two hours, but the thing is you can wait. Okay, if it is not finishing, I will ask him if it is not finishing by two sessions. Okay, on the activity, I think I will. So the better option one. would be so the better option would be if you provide solutions to of that that activity question, detailed solutions. that would be much better it will release the pressure on you and the students both okay but there is no solution that's the thing is i i will release the solution okay if we are releasing the solution then you will not do yourself you will just watch the thing and just sit and do nothing that's the problem that's why we keep it no Please. you can you can give the solutions after the graded assignment i'm not saying give it to, uh, at that moment but after just like you solve graded assignment after the deadline similarly okay. after deadline you can uh, give the solutions of all the questions available in the portal okay but see this is a learning so so if you want, my suggestion if you want to find the solution no just try to reach to discord why are all of you are not joining discord if you type in discord no you sir, go I've, discord sir i've been to discord i have faced problems on discord sir in the sense like for example uh, in week 3 i had a question mm -hmm. uh, i had posted it and uh, the there was a comment i can't remember now this was last week but mm -hmm. there was a comment saying that oh this has already been discussed and i commented below saying that could you please point to me in the right direction because there was a solution in that in that thing so i said you know could you please uh, yes, uh, yes. You know? and uh, there was no response i mean still there's no response So see that if you are say I am let me let me open it okay uh, I'll show you, I'll tell you exactly it what it was it was week see, two so no, the problem is once you open the discourse no there yes, is tagging thing you sir, can search you can search yeah you can you can search on there AQ one point three AQ three point one AQ three point two if you search okay. there the activity of week three will come sir, and there thing. you can see yeah. Same thing, sir. If you want to see, I'll show you. You will find my comment also there if you want. So, so see, right no now. issues, no issues, no issues. 
Okay. No, sir. Actually, what happened? Uh, I have seen like the many, many a times I have seen like the similar question has been asked repeatedly, mm -hmm. and then, uh, sir, obviously not like people don't have time, so much time to respond, like to find the link and then paste it. No, no. The, the, so if is there is a problem, so TA will I will suggest him. Okay. Yeah. If TA somebody is asking, him. okay, he will search in the discourse. And giving provide the link in your answer, you can respond. Okay, I will I will talk to him and he will surely if it is anybody is not giving the solution or answer. Okay, the TA sir, will uh, there. Sir, you are Shubham Maurya, sir, right? Yes. Uh, I will tag you in that question. Wait. Right? <laughs> sure. tag yes, you sure. in that. Question. So please yeah. tag one. You can so see. So that's the thing here. If you go the framing of the discourse, no, of maps too. There is yes. each instruction name is given. If no one is answering, tag my name. Tag the name, okay. Whatever the names are there, please tag them, okay. This is the suggestion yes. also given to all of you. If no one is answering, tag to whatever the names is given. Tag my name or tag any of the any of any one of the instructor who is in maps two. He is yes. okay. He will provide you solution. This sir, is my duty thing. that I will provide. Yeah. Sir, one more thing. So when are we going to get the mock for the uh, week one? Yeah. Week now two? for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get the mock for week one and two. Okay, and sir, another thing, are we going to have any extra session for PYQs like last time? PYQ means what? So previous year papers like last time? Yes, we... yes, yes, it will be provided. It will be uh, no solution, no? I will keep a session where the TS will solve. Uh, yeah, like last time, like they used to give us questions and then they gave time and then we used to solve and then later yes. after five minutes, he used to solve. Yes, yes. This is the process will be because all of you are very much uh, now all of you gone through the concept. So that's the problem. If you sit and solve, like you will give the solution, there is no use. Yes. But he will give the time, sit there, solve with him. And I will keep the sessions like this. Okay. I will keep a uh, more. Yes, sir. That was good actually. Mm. As the previous there, I will keep some session at least last four last week. You will give the each week, each day session at least by the TA. So I, I have planned these all. Don't worry. See, even the activity problem I will solve. See, this is a qualifier week is going for the maths one. Because of that, it is uh, there is a lots of work actually. But once let me stop the live. Okay, even if it go there is no issue. So, but once this qualifier will will week will finish, then so you say maybe of max two session also will be restructure means the same. But TS session I will add more. Okay, there he will sit you with you and solve the activity problem, and also I will maybe I will keep a challenging. Okay, you will get a challenging problem each week at least. Some yes, sir. I think that will be very good. And also you will see some uh, practice mock solutions. He will discuss with you. So these all will come. I will structure. So please wait at least one week. Then everything will get. Okay. This everything will be updated, and, and everything will will get an announcement. On this announcement, you will get what are the things will happen. I will use to send the announcement. Okay. Old question paper, uh, question paper discussion, uh, challenging will happen. Activity may be happen. These all will happen, and each thing will be conducted by TS. Maybe I will also there. Okay. So don't worry. Slowly, slowly, everything will happen. Sir, one more thing I wanted to ask is not related to mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, when we will complete our foundation course and let's say we will have our consolidated CG, uh, the GPA, right? Mm -hmm. Then, sir, uh, will that GPA will be the separate from the diploma courses or is it going to be consolidated together with diploma? No, the thing is like I I'm not very much sure, but it will be like if you are did the foundation and mm -hmm. diploma, then there your diploma certificate is will be like foundation and diploma. But if somebody is directly go to diploma, then he having only the diploma CGPA. But if you are doing foundation and diploma, then your combined CGPA will get no combined. Way, That's what yes. I wanted to ask. So it will be yes. combined. Yes, probably it will be combined. But I am not very much sure, but it will be like this. That's the meaning also. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's all. Anyone have else? So everything will be, don't worry. Everything will be come on announcement. And uh, uh, I will I will talk to, uh, uh, to the, this TA and he will provide a very structured. Don't worry.
so please tag to if anything i will suggest him to if no one is answering even you are not getting the not answering not posting the solution ta will search and post it okay sir for math one uh, i tagged you in one of the post but uh, nobody replied okay in math one yes sir actually uh, uh, i uh, got zero practice assignment bonus marks mm -hmm. so for that uh, i i written to support many times and then i posted on discourse and uh, then i tagged you and uh, subhajit yeah yeah sir the subhajit is there uh, but uh, no there is no reply on that post okay maybe it missed that but we usually try to reach and see that okay okay no issues we'll see it okay maybe in this term will not happen maybe it maybe it means i don't know why sir but i solved all the practice assignments mm -hmm. and i got zero marks in math one zero uh, uh, but for... see it is not like it is not see if you have submitted maybe you got the less than zero less than 40 marks of the practice assignment there is a possibility i am not sure but if you are submitting the practice assignment what is the grading document did you go through that if you go through the grading document there is properly written when you will get the yeah, 40 40 sir 40 percent you are there. getting the 40 so maybe you are getting the less of it no sir that's for, that uh, that shows uh, immediately practice assignment shows your uh, answers uh, right or wrong immediately yes 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 so sir is it the first time we submit or what first time means what means uh, is it like the first time uh, we submit the practice assignment or uh, uh, no no quiz one see the deadline if you see the deadline of practice assignment no sir in last term means in math one there was no uh, deadline yes there is no actually there is a deadline before the quiz okay yes yes sir so uh, before the quiz we can submit uh, any number of times no yes uh, so that's what I did, sir. So maybe, so then I think, see, I have also gone through the each of how the bonus mark is given. And it is a calculated by the our team. And who is saw submitting and getting the greater than 40, my each one have getting each practice is getting more than 40, then there is provide there will be provided okay, what happens practice assignments uh, immediately. So the so thing is, there is a possibility. See, there is one thing, there is possibility that Suppose you are on the CGP of uh, uh, maybe you, you suppose in maths one you are getting the marks is 72. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. 72 you are getting or 70 I'm saying. And then there is no use of bonus mark, right? If you add, I will, I, I will add bonus mark, five marks, suppose it is become 75. There is no change on your grade. It will not happen with their grade, right? But uh, but uh, sir, we, I should get some marks or no? You will get marks, so but it will not affect on your grade, right? And at the end, you will see only the grade or your marks also. No, it was affecting, sir. No, no, I am saying in the result, what you will get, your marks or grade also? Yeah, grade. So grade, you will see that that's the thing. If you are getting suppose seventy, grade was also affecting. No, how it will affect as i am saying you are getting 70 marks okay no, my, and marks, bonus, uh, sir, my marks was uh like that 76 and uh, if i uh, got the 10 marks in rest all subjects uh, i got 10 but uh, in math i got zero i don't know why. it is not see it is not like that okay it is not maybe maybe because of see as i am saying maybe still after adding some bonus you are not submitted all you are maybe you haven't submitted all Practice so 100%, 100 i submitted sir it is not like that i i known i was it was known to me since the uh, first week also only so i don't i i don't know there is issue with that okay because see there is no way they, any particularly you are going to miss that okay so i don't think is there maybe that's the thing here maybe you have submitted it have missed sir i don't want uh, wanted to lose that 10 marks so i checked before every quiz that whether i have submitted or not finally okay uh, but uh, i don't know what happened there is a, some issue sir there must be some issue 
so maybe uh, but uh, it usually not happen okay it usually not happen but there is no 